Zero Linux. A distribution I've spoken about before and previously looked at the Plasma edition, but did you know that Zero Linux also has a GNOME and a XFCE edition as well? And uh, these are, of course, known as the Zero Linux spins. And they are available. You can uh, give a donation to get the ISO, or you can build the ISO yourself. And uh, you can also, if you've downloaded the ISO as well, web version, you can actually use the tooling to build the other one. What I did in my case is I uh, gave a small donation uh, to test out the GNOME version. And I have to tell you, it's been fantastic to see how this distribution has grown in such a short amount of time. I know it it gets a lot of the popularity around the KDE version, but let me tell you, I actually think that uh, the GNOME version is one of the best Linux uh, GNOME distros I've actually ever used. So basically coming out of it, uh, it has a GNOME desktop with a couple of uh, extensions added on as well, especially at GNOME to dock. Uh, basically I've haven't really changed the configuration very much there and of course it has a couple of additional utilities out the box uh, telling you what packages need to be updated uh, using um, some tiling options as well if you want uh, paste uh, traditional uh, icons in your GNOME menu etc so that's basically a couple of tweaks here and there to learn but really great and uh, well thought out options especially for a newer user to gnome and i must say it's probably one of the few if not the only known distro or that i haven't really gonna make many changes to the only change i really made was making sure the dock uh, is always visible apart from that i haven't really had to go and tweak it uh the nice thing of course uh it being zero linux is it comes out with the zero linux uh tool so the nice thing is here of course you can update your arch mirror list you can fix your uh your canoe keys sometimes that does uh, go a little bit uh, haywire that's just uh, the nature of an arch type system faq you can install your drivers uh, the update system now option is really great uh, because it can update uh, your aur your flat pack packages your normal arch systems and what's nice is your post install system configs, I'm going to show you here, gives you additional options that's really nice, you know, out of the box. So for example, um, here you can uh, initialize Snapper. So if you're using your BTRF based file system, if you want to do system rollbacks, if you want to change uh, from bash to CSH uh, with my ZSH, you can do that uh, just by clicking here. If you want to restore it to out of the box settings, one button. Uh, pack seek uh, package manager, of course, which has AUR support. The zero ISO builder. So if here, if you were to click on this, you can, for example, go and build the XFCE spin without even having to donate, which I think is a really great option. Um, you know, giving people the option to go ahead and build the spins themselves without donating is. I think a really nice gesture. Uh, the KDE Rises, of course, isn't going to work on the GNOME version. Um, if you want your system-wide ad blocker with HBlock and, of course, enabling or disabling a firewall, uh, out the box, straight to the point, you're going to find this on uh, all of the Zero Linux uh, versions, but really looks pretty snazzy in the GNOME edition. And uh, install applications, what I like as well, is they've got two options. They've got to use Flatpak and not use Flatpak. So if you're a diehard uh, non-Flatpak user, that's fine. And if you do like it, uh, you can activate the option, which I think is really, really great. And it gives folks the options of the best of uh, two worlds as well. And you'll also see, of course, that um, uh, there isn't a duplicate, isn't really much duplication of any. So for example, if I was to choose uh, flat packs and use office suites here of course we've got simply note wps office only office and if i don't choose flat pack and i was to go again to 
uh, Office, uh, LibreOffice Fresh or Free Office. So it, it's more things like that, I think, is really, really great as well. Uh, what's also nice, of course, is it does give you the option if you want to use a hard kernel, I'll test kernel Zen. And the other options of applications, other boxes, really being given some nice thought to it as well. It's um, what they've done is they've taken a selection of options and given them to you. So sometimes less is more. And I think in this case, that it's great. Um, I only give folks sometimes a couple of options on what they need to do or need to use. And it's, it's a lot better. Rather have four, five items in a list or two items in a list than overwhelming a person and giving them like nine, uh, nine, ten options. I think this is much better uh, way of doing it. Of course, things, gaming tools, Steam Native, uh, Minecraft launcher, T launcher, uh, internet browsers, of course, are giving you the option of a Valdium Opera, and of course, also giving you LibreWolf, Microsoft Edge, uh, Brave, uh, Water Fox G5, all of these type of uh, options here. And of course, you can also deliberately go and filter it uh, on this side as well. And what I also really like what they've done is even giving you the option of a couple of uh, open AI tools that exist. Again, you don't have to use it, but it's nice to know those options do exist uh, there when it's needed. Um, which is pretty, pretty great. And even re option for retro game stuff as well. Uh, cool. So a uh, nice thing as well is uh, uh, their FAQ uh, answers a great couple of questions, uh, what to do. And of course, if you click on something, it'll take you to their uh, homepage, which is, or, or which is really nice. Or should I say to their forum rather, where they have uh, these documented correctly and talking about the forum uh really open community uh giving updates on when it's needed uh, etc and a really really great uh, distribution and um personally i'm very fond of uh zero Linux itself and as i said i think the known version is the best uh what i will say though is uh, it is a distribution where I know it comes from Lebanon and uh, it's, uh, it's a, they have electricity uh, issues in that side of the world, which is really not great. And as you can imagine, trying to build and customize a Linux distribution while having those additional um, issues really can't be, can't be great or easy to use. So if you do use it and you can spare to donate to them, it really is worth it. And um, it's one of the few uh, distributions I myself have actually donated to. So um, it's it's definitely worth it. They they take uh, Arch Linux and they really make it uh, usable for the average person. And compared to, uh, you know, it's in between something like Manjaro and Gerida, where it's got a little bit of eye candy, but it also doesn't bombard you as well doesn't go overboard and there's a nice uh, balance between the two. I found my installations incredibly stable and personally I have no need to even just drop again right now and I really hope uh, to continue to see this distro around for many more years. Um, out of the box of course, a couple of pretty uh, cool wallpapers, not many uh, available but there are a few there and the version I'm on, uh, we're still using X11, which is fine, and I'm still using kernel 6.4.12, but um, absolutely uh, no issues. So yeah, folks, uh, if you can and you want to try a Arch-based distribution, uh, GNOME-based, go ahead, uh, possibly to mate if you can, and uh, you won't be sorry. This is a really great uh, distribution, and I... Uh, wish the developers and everyone involved all the best uh, for the future and i hope they can continue to make this distro available for everyone as always thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.